Here's how you can make this amazing sliding interactive PowerPoint in just five simple steps. Let's go. Now to show you how this works, I'm going to use the example of my own portfolio that I use as a sales presentation for our agency. Once you've got this process in place, you can use any content whatsoever to build this interactive PowerPoint. So let's take a look at step one. Quite simply, we need to focus on the content first. So what I'm gonna do here is just right click and add a section. Now I would assume that you already know what content you need to go into your presentation. And you can start by building out your sections in the way I did there, just right clicking, choosing the add section option. And then once you've got all of your sections in place, you can of course add the content. Now I've done this very quickly, um, but I would highly recommend that slide one inside each of your sections is a title slide. The reason for that will become much clearer a little bit later on, but in the interactive menu that we're going to build, you will always see slide one as the thumbnail that moves around as you navigate through the content. So that will become much clearer, but slide one inside every single one of your sections should always be a title slide. Here in my example, I'm just adding two slides in every section, but again, once you've got this process down, you can add as much content as you need to in each section. There is no limit on this at all. I've just kept this very, very simple because for me and my business and what I do, it's very, very visual. We build presentations for our clients. We wanna show that off as quickly as possible. So here I've just got a really nice looking slide with uh, a video that's placed inside a laptop image, a few screenshots of the presentation that I'm talking about. So that's step one, add your sections, add your slides within those sections and do try and make sure that slide one of every one of your sections is a title slide and make the actual title of that section nice and big and bold. Again, really, really important, will become much clearer in just a second when we move on to another step. Okay, so we've added our sections, we've added content into those sections, now it's time for step three, and this is where it starts to get really interesting. So what I'm gonna do here is add a slide at the very beginning of my presentation, which is going to become multiple slides actually as we go through, and it's gonna become the main navigation that guides us into all of those lovely sections. So as you can see at the very top here, I have actually added a section called Home. What I'm gonna do is just add a brand new slide. I'll just call it Portfolio. And I'll make the text nice and big and bold. Um, I'm not gonna use Calibri because that's an absolutely <laughs> horrible uh, font, but I'll put this title in the center and just make that nice and big. I won't go too crazy with the design look and feel on this, but of course you can do whatever you want uh, in terms of your opening slide and how your navigation looks. Where it gets really interesting though in this step is when we go to the insert menu and we select the zoom and section zoom option. I love this feature. Now if we click on section zoom, because we've put the work in initially and we've got all of those sections in place, I can now go through here and actually add all of these sections onto this slide. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna select all of them and press insert. That will add them in the center of this slide. Maybe I'll just extend them a little bit to make them a bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to create a huge line of these and I'm gonna move them off the edge of the slide. So I'll just do that quickly, bear with me one second. Okay, there we go. And what I'm actually going to do, just to be a bit of a perfectionist, is I'm gonna select all of the uh, section zooms I've got there, 
and I'm just going to make sure they're all aligned to the middle and make sure that the space in between them is all exactly the same as well. Fantastic. Now, you might be wondering why is everything hanging off the edge of the slide? Well, we don't need to worry about that because of course we want our menu to slide along as someone clicks through it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave all of those in place but we're actually going to group them together all as one object. And now that we've got all of our slide zooms grouped together as one object, we can move on to step four, which is probably the most simple step in this whole thing. What we're gonna do here is on the same slide, slide one, we're going to add uh, a few little buttons, uh, an arrow on the right and an arrow on the left. Now, I'm just gonna paste a couple of buttons onto my slide here. These are really simple little objects. I just have a, a rectangle, uh, and on top of that, I have this little arrow that I got from icons and shapes inside PowerPoint itself. So really, really straightforward. You don't have to spend ages on those. So long as there's a really clear right arrow and a left arrow, that's the main thing. Now what I'm gonna do is click on the right arrow, and I'm gonna to go to the top of the screen here and choose action. And then what I'm gonna do is choose hyperlink and make sure that's set to next slide, which it is, so I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna to go to the left arrow, do the same thing, except of course, you guessed it, this time I'm gonna choose previous slide and click okay. Now there's one more step to go, but basically what I've done there is I've told this slide that whenever anyone clicks on the right arrow to go to the next slide, whenever anyone clicks on the left arrow to go to the previous slide. Now it may not be 100% clear yet why I've done that, but trust me on this next step, there'll be a huge light bulb moment. It's all gonna come together and this is gonna look epic. So bear with me and let's move on to step five. So in this final step, we're gonna bring everything together so that we get this navigation fully functioning and it just brings the whole presentation to life. And many people that will see this won't even believe it's being built inside PowerPoint. So here's the final step. What we need to do is duplicate slide one a few times. So I'm gonna right click on slide one and choose duplicate slide. And then on this uh, copied version, on this duplicated version here, I'm gonna grab our uh, section zooms and I'm just gonna slide them along. Now, I'll just do it so that we move along two projects at a time. And then I'm gonna repeat that process. So right click here again, do duplicate slide. And on this version, I'll grab the uh, section zooms and I'll move this along so we've got a couple of new projects in there. And then one final time, duplicate slide, grab those section zooms, and I'll just bring this along so that those last two projects are in the center, okay? Now remember, every time we've duplicated that slide, those left and right arrows have been duplicated as well. So you need to make sure you don't miss step four, otherwise you'll have to copy and paste those onto each slide, which will be a bit of a pain. Once we've done that, we're then gonna hold the shift key down and we're gonna select all of those slides that we just made copies of. And we're going to select transitions at the top of PowerPoint and choose my second favorite feature in the whole of PowerPoint. The zoom feature is the first. My second, uh, my second favorite feature is the morph transition. You get a preview of what's gonna happen there. But now if we click on slide one, and go into slideshow mode, you'll see this all come together really nicely. So I'm gonna click on the right arrow. There we go, we see our navigation slide along. And we can keep going. Or we can click the left arrow to go backwards. And of course, the most important thing with this, we can click on any of these section zooms to zoom in to the content within that section. We can click to go to slide two, and you can keep clicking to go through the multiple slides that you might have in each of your sections. And when you click again, PowerPoint will bring you all the way back to your navigation. 
So I'm just going to click the left arrow to go back. Maybe I'll go and have a look at the Malmaison project. Click on that. We zoom in. We then click to slide two. We talk about that project. We deliver that content, whatever it may be. And then when we click, PowerPoint brings us back to where we just came from. It's such a clever use of PowerPoint and it doesn't have to be that complicated at all. As you saw there, in around about 10 minutes or so, I've taken you through five really, really simple steps to help you build this presentation. So have a go at downloading this template. I'm gonna make this template available for you so that you can see the final working version and you can pull it apart and try and rebuild it yourself from watching this tutorial. But once you've done that and you've got those five steps down, please have a go at building your own version with your own branding and your own content. Trust me, your clients, your prospects, whoever you're presenting to in your audience is gonna absolutely love you for presenting in this way. So I hope you found this useful. Please do me a favor and like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.